Welcome back. My name is Greg Martin. Today we're going to talk about how to do a t-test. We're going to do this video in about two minutes. I'm going to teach you the code that you would use in R to do a t-test. I'm not going to explain the nuts and bolts of, of how to understand the statistical inference, etc, etc. I have lots of other videos that do that, so check out my channel. There's lots of teaching that you can get into over there about statistical analysis in R. This video is about how to, what code do you need? How do you do a t-test in R? Okay, so let's get into this. If you want to learn about R programming, then you have come to the right place. On this YouTube channel, we're creating R programming videos on everything. I always use the tidyverse. It expands your vocabulary in R. It gives you additional data sets that you can use. I've created an object with this code over here. I'm not going to go through that code because that's not what this video is about. And I've created an object called my data from the Star Wars data set. And basically for all of our Star Wars characters, We've pulled out their sex, male or female, or their gender, and we've got the height for each character. And the question we're asking is, is the average height of men or males in the Star Wars universe more than the average height of females? And if you look at this graph that we've got down here, it does look like, looking at the graph, that men are taller than women. This is a, each of these lines. The blue line is the distribution of the height of men, and the pink line is the distribution of the height of, of, of females. Now... We test that by doing a t-test. Well, we test the hypothesis, right? The null hypothesis is that both uh, genders have the same height. And then we ask, our question, uh, ask ourselves, like, does the data support that? And interestingly, if we do this t-test, let's look at this code. The function is the t. The t.test is the function. The first argument is the numeric variable. And this tilde is by. So we are disaggregating the height by sex, right? So we're taking all of the height data and we're putting it into one bucket for men and one bucket for women and we're asking ourselves is the average in each of those buckets the same okay and then the second the next argument is comma the next argument is data equals and then the data the little data object that we've created now if we run that okay i'm not going to get into details here it tells us what the average height of men and women are it does look like the average height for men is more than the average height for females but the p-value is 0.1 so in actual fact, this is not statistically significant. There's a good chance that this difference that we're seeing, given the sample size, is just by chance. It's not a statistically significant difference. Okay, and my other videos get into a lot more detail about that. Just so that you know, if you're into the tidyverse and you want to do the t-test using pipe operators, and if you know what pipe operators are, you know exactly what I mean, we can pipe this object through all of this code straight into the t-test but you need to say data equals dot because the t-test is expecting to see the data object as this argument. And ordinarily, when you make when you pipe data in a data object into the next line of code in R, its natural place is to stick the data right at the beginning. Okay. Another thing just to mention is for the t-test, there are other arguments that you might want to include. Right. So R defaults to these here: mu equals naught paired equals false, variable equal false, confidence level equals uh, 0 0.95. You can change any of these. You can change this from two-sided to greater than or less than. So you can change any of these parameters and you just put them in there. I've got a video that goes into a lot more detail. So check that out if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Don't do drugs. Always do your best. Don't ever change. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.